Hello everybody and uh, welcome to an introduction to chroma keying or green screen video compositing. Uh, we'll be using Pinnacle Studio as our video editing software for this intro. Um, if you look in the upper left here you can see that Pinnacle Studio has three distinct uh, work areas. Uh, first one is for capturing video. Uh, the second one is for editing your video, adding uh, transitions, overlays and uh, uh, background uh, sound effects, that type of thing. And the third one, of course, is for outputting to uh, your chosen file format or to a media storage device. Uh, we're going to start here in the edit area. Now, if we look down below, uh, you can see that we have uh, our main timeline here. And it's uh, broken into five distinct tracks. The first one is for your main video clips. And uh, directly below it, any uh, audio associated with that clip will be displayed right here. Uh, the third one down is for titles and uh, video overlays. Uh, this is where we'll place our uh, chroma key clip. And the fourth one is for sound effects and uh, voiceovers. And the last one is for uh, background music and that type of thing. Okay, so normally we'd uh, click on this little folder icon to go retrieve our videos. Uh, I just happen to have them right here, so we'll just uh, drag them down to the appropriate tracks. Uh, the first one, called Mill Lake, is just a short panning video of a local lake in my area. And, uh, of course, our uh, chroma key clip will drag into the overlay track and then pull it over to the left to line it up with our Mill Lake video. Now, you'll notice over here that um, I've not used green or blue. That's because I have uh, green and blue in objects in my scene. Now my scene was actually a, a short video animation uh, created in 3D Studio. This was my background color and I created my objects in front of it. Uh, so it's the same principle as uh, uh, filming somebody in front of a green screen or a blue screen uh, backdrop. Um, this is the same principle uh, other than this was just uh, created on a computer. So anyways, uh, to uh, go set our key, we uh, double click on our clip. And this little pop-up here arrives. We uh, click on the overlay button. We have the choice of picture in picture or chroma key. We'll choose chroma key. Uh, grab our little eyedropper tool. And we'll go over here and we'll uh, uh, click on this burgundy color. And lo and behold, our uh, Mill Lake video shows through. Now you'll notice back over here in this little work area that uh, our tolerance is set quite high. So I have some blue in this area. I want to remove that by dragging to the left and that'll take away some of that uh, blue that was on there uh, so that I don't have transparency in my blue objects in the scene. It wouldn't look very good. Uh, I'm going to pull my uh, spill suppression all the way up to the right, leave my saturation down, uh, softness about halfway or so, and uh, you'll always have to experiment with these for each uh, particular key uh, that you cut anyways. Okay, so I'll just take you into the timeline uh, over to here. You'll see here's uh, the little object that I've created, and um, you can see I get a little bit of jaggies here, but it's not too bad. Uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to leave it as it is, all of these settings. Okay, so we'll just click this off here, and now we're going to go make our movie. So we go into the uh, Make Movie workspace. Um, I'm choosing an MPEG-2 file type. Uh, I'm going to leave the default settings for audio and video where they are. Uh, click Create File. Um, I'm going to overwrite this one here. I was having problems with it, so I'm just going to leave the name the same, Mill Lake Final 2. Click OK, and say yes to replace, and then if we look over here on the right, we'll see that uh, our uh, rendering is in progress. Now, I'm not going to make you wait through this uh, uh, rendering process here. Uh, I'll show you the video shortly. Um, I did add a little bit of an intro to the beginning of it, and an ending, uh, some sound and such, uh, just to make it a little more interesting. It's not meant to be a professional video, it's just a little bit of fun just to show you the principle of uh, Chroma King. And that's it, so uh, thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you at the end of the video.
the summertime, even though it's right in the middle of the city. Good fly fishing lake. What's up? Now this is some wild ride run. I'll see you at the other end. Holy crap. 